Hello guys, welcome back to Orange Thunder. Right now, I just played all the easy beginner chords we're going to be playing today. Also, like there's not, you won't really find these chords. Like if you search on Google or other videos on how to play, you won't find these chords because these aren't like the real chords. Since this is a beginner video, this are going to be beginner chords. The only re chord is going to be the D major. I tried other ones, but they don't really sound well. So this is a little tough one. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to, but I suggest you try because it sounds really good. So for our first chord, the easiest one, we're going to be you doing the G chord. So how you make the G chord is you see this third fret over here, and this is the first string, okay? You put your finger, your ring finger, on the first, on the first string of the third fret. So you want to bend it. You don't make it just flat like that. I mean, that's fine because it's a one finger chord. But once you start adding more fingers, it's going to sound like a mute. So yeah, see, just look how it sounds. I mean, it sounds fine because I told you it's one finger. But if once you start adding more fingers, it's going to create a problem. So don't do that. So you have to bend them and don't tuck your other fingers away like this. Because if you want to change chords, you have to take them out and then change. If they're just hovering here, then you can easily change to another chord. So again, third fret, first finger, we're going to be strumming the f go to the fourth string over here. And we're going to be strumming from there. See, it sounds really nice. So let's take this in whole notes. So just count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. One, two, three, four. Do you think you have it? Okay. If you don't think you're ready, you can pause the video. But now we're going to get to half notes. Okay. that down if you didn't you should pause the video and try again guitar takes a lot of time because it's one of the hardest instruments so you, you should really spend a lot of time on this so now finally we'll do quarter note strums so you strum every time of the of the beat so like this one two So let's try that again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So if you didn't get the chord yet, you should probably rewind the video or pause because we're going to be going to our next chord, another easy one, the A major. So this is how the A major sounds. So let me teach you how to make it. So first, go to the second fret, as you can see. Take your middle finger and put it on the second string of the second fret. You got that? Second fret, second, second string of the second fret. And then you take your pointer finger and you put it on the string right above it. Second fret, third string. So you think you have the shape. So let's, if you didn't get it, let's build it again. Take your middle finger and put it on the second fret of the second string and put your pointer finger on the second fret of the third string. And also, if you guys are like noticing some lines on your fingers, that's completely normal because your strings aren't used to pushing down that much, but you're supposed to. Don't think like it's an injury and you should push down less. You push down the last, it gets muted, see? If you don't push down, if you do, make a sound. So you guys should push down and don't worry about the marks. That means you're doing good. So let's build that again. Middle finger, second fret, second string. Pointer finger, second fret, third string. So let's play it. You all, for like this one, you also strum, strum on the fourth fret. Not fourth fret, fourth string, like up here. 
Let's see how nice it sounds. Let's do it in like whole notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So now let's go to half notes. One, two, three. Okay, now I hope you got that down because it's for the final one, the quarter notes. And you don't have to play as fast as me. You don't need a fast tempo. You just need to play it all in the same tempo, like this. I don't care if you play like this. One, two, three, four. It's still in tempo. Like, you should, uh, after some time, you should, like, go a little faster because if you always go like this. One. gonna be a little hard to play songs so but what we don't want is you play like in the low tempo but the tempo keeps changing like this one two three four wait do you see that the tempo was on i had a slow tempo on one fast on three four and then slow on slow on the four again i mean on some songs you have to do that but usually you have to do it in the same tempo so let's do those quarter notes now four one of the hard ones the c chord this is gonna take you a while and by the way we're playing the easy c which only requires two fingers like i mean this would be a really easy c but that doesn't really make the c sound so i'm not teaching it to you guys today so the easy c that i found online was this take your first finger and put it on the second string of the first fret Okay, now take your second finger and put it on the fourth string of the second fret. So like this. Remember to bend your fingers. Also make sure your thumb is in a good position, not like this, not like this, but like in the middle. So let's build that again. First finger on second string of the first fret, second finger on fourth string of the second fret. Okay, let's try this chord out. By the way, you're only playing the first four strings again. That's a little song you might play with C. So yeah, we're not learning that right now, but I wanted to show you that. Because like the C, when you play it by itself, it doesn't sound that good. I mean... sound does it well if you want once you play it in like a song it'll sound really good trust me so let's do it in our whole notes one two three four one two three four okay now half notes one two three four one two three four okay so now Let's do the quarter notes. I hope I'm not going too fast for you. If I am, you can always pause the video. So, quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's the C chord, guys. Remember, this is an easy C, so like if someone says you're playing the wrong C, just say it's an easier one, because this is actually not like the right C. It has a different name, but let's not get onto that now. Now, Let's play the D chord. Three fingers, but really easy though. So, I'm not gonna be building this twice, so please listen carefully. First finger on the third string, third string of the second fret, second finger on the second fret and first string, third finger on the second string and third fret let me say that to you again first finger on the second fret of the third string second finger on the first string of the second fret and your ring finger on the second string of the third fret okay so now let's try it out oh see how sound that's see how cool that sounds that's like that's 
song called Have You Seen the Rain by Queen and Squatter, Clearwater. It's a really cool song. After you like become a bit better, you guys should try that. So let's play that in our whole notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now let's go to half notes, guys. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's half notes. Now to the quarter notes. One, two, three, four. So that's the D chord, guys. That's all the chords that we're going to be learning today. It's a beginner lesson, so it was pretty easy. And these are not the real chords, but they're really fun to play and really easy. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.